Roland. Yeah. Hello and welcome to a fresh video. I hope you are having a great week. I've just bought a Honda Zuma scooter to go to Nando's to buy smoothie ingredients just to get on and rip it round. When I say I've bought one, I've actually swapped the Polo 9M3 track car. So I'm in my mate Dunny's van. He's borrowed me his van to go and get it. I don't want you to lose your mind, but it's pretty insane. Can't really see it right now. It's kind of dark in the van. Too dark, too dark right. to see it. And you just see a massive stretched wheel. Sheesh! What I want you to do right now, if you're watching this video right now, I want you to smash the like button if you're hyped on the new purchase. I want you to smash the like button if you think it's possible that I'm gonna drop it pulling it out of this van backwards because <laughs> I've just realised that's going to be hard. So, here we go. The Honda Rookies. How'd you do this, lad? Just, just pull that tab in. I'm going to have to do my CBT, I think, to drive this thing, but it's a 50cc scooter, so it's just a little run around. I live in a nice sunny seaside town and it's so chilled, blitzing around. So. <laughs> So chilled, blitzing around. I'm literally so focused on Owner right now. Owner is my clothing company. Link is in the description. We've got crazy deals. We've got girl stuff. We've got all sorts online. It's going really, really well. I can't thank you enough. I think it's going to go full circle and have an Owner popping off is going to make me content better as well. So it's really cool. I'm hyped. Um, but basically, I just wanted to take an hour or two on my dinner every day and blast it to like Nando's or something, or Subway or the shop for smoothies or whatever, on the Honda Ruckus for a bit of fresh air. So I got myself a sick little moped. You're gonna lose your mind. You better smash the like button the minute you see this thing. So, this is the fun part. It's a lot heavier than it looks. So this is a Japanese import. Is it a Japanese import? Yes, it's actually... It's actually a Honda Ruckus. Some of them are Zoomers, which doesn't really matter. I don't want to discredit anyone's Zuma. Because if this was a, if this was a Zuma, I wouldn't have cared. It's got stretched tyres. This is like next level cool, in my opinion. This is so pick, cool. You can pick a standard one of these up for about two and a half bag, and these modded are about four bag. I did a straight swap with the Polo 9M3 GTI because it just fits with my life better. I'm, I'm a bag just, is a grand. A bag is a grand. <laughs> How are we doing? Are we looking straight there? No. no. Nearly. You, you need to lift your front up a bit. And... How's that? <laughs> How's that? What if I do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah you got that. that. You got that, you got that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, it catches on the wood, doesn't it? gonna be worth it. One minute. Oh, you got it. Is that looking all right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're turning a bit, one sec. <laughs> this thing is insane. You're gonna come off, you're gonna come off, you're gonna come off. Come on. Oh my God. I went to fit it. So I went to fitted. Dan from Kill All Wipers, you know, you know he is because I did my first podcast. By the way, I've got my second podcast coming in the next video. I did my first podcast with Dan from Kill All Wipers and he's got a Honda Ruckus. Then at Fitted and at Gravity, there was loads of Honda Ruckuses. They're just sick. They're little 50cc mopeds, look at them. They're like a hundred quid a year to insure. Everyone mods them, paints them. This thing is incredible. I'm gonna let Gaz do his magic right now and do some super arty shots of this thing. We're gonna put a little montage together, enjoy. Then we're gonna ride it round this car park. Then we're gonna get it home, put it in the garage and we're gonna just talk about it and stuff. So I hope you're enjoying it. If you like the Honda Ruckus, smash the like button. Sick lad. Yeah, man. In it. So there we go, we're gonna fire it up. I don't even know how to do it, basically. It's 50cc, got a little peg stand. I've got no license right now. I've not got a CBT, so I'm not actually allowed to ride this thing, but it's gonna be all right.
so cool. It's genuinely so cool. Like That's I'm sick. not, I'm not into my bikes enough to want to do my bike license. It's just, it's just where I'm at. I reckon in the future I would have it. I've just got this for a little bit of a mess about. Go to Nando's, go to the shop, whatever on my moped. Why not? So cool. Ah, so basically we're going to a Honda day. When you're watching this video, I've probably done it today already because I think this video goes out tomorrow evening and when this video goes out tomorrow, I've done a trade show all day for owner with the Mark 7R, but it's a Honda day. So I'm taking the Honda Zuma slash Ruckus. It's only a Ruckus, it's a Ruckus. Honda Ruckus. If we get in the garage later with it, we'll talk about that. But yeah, I just think it looks sick. Like when you look at it from the back, you wouldn't know what that is. You wouldn't think it's a moped from the back, would you? No, you wouldn't, would you? You'd think it's like a street bike or something. Yeah. Stretch tires and all that. It's mad how long it is as well. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's just sick. So cool. Such a cool piece of equipment. A few days have passed since the last clip. How are you doing? Are you good? I'm in my glasses. Hope you don't mind. Chilling in the garage. So, the ruckus is in the building. By now on the gram, a lot of you have seen the ruckus. So I haven't been uploading a lot on the channel at the moment because I'm trying to do like one podcast, one normal video to keep all my viewers hyped. Um, quite a good feedback on um, the last podcast that I did. I've already shot the second one. I just have been trying to get a normal video up in between it. Django! Crazy dog. Anyway, check it out, the ruckus is home. The ruckus is in the garage. Why the hell not? For those of you who are watching today's video, I wanted to remind you guys, we've got a crazy deal on owner right now. You get a free t-shirt with every single hoodie, jacket or joggers that you order on the store right now. And we've got bundle deals back and we've got loads of sick girls products online now. So, owner's killing it. It's literally my main focus in my life at the moment. The only thing I just put all me absolute energy into other than the dogs is owner like literally just smashing it from like seven in the morning till two in the morning i'm doing like 19 20 hour days every day just building the beast it's sick i want to say thanks to everyone that supports the brand and gets involved anyone that posts pictures and tags us anyone that gets involved is just sick because owner's building so rapidly i can't thank you enough now, moving on back to the ruckus. I actually did a trade show this weekend at Three Sisters Race Circuit, which is all this stuff here. Please excuse the mess in the garage. Things are getting crazy. But I haven't actually had a minute really to look at the ruckus myself and enjoy the ruckus for like how sick it actually is. So I'm going to actually run through some details on it and just look at it myself. So, the Santa Cruz stationary at the moment needs sorting out. But, let's get this thing in the middle of the room. Put kickstand there. Pretty chill. Let's get this thing in the middle. Like this. So as you can see, you get like a mad little kickstand. Like that. It's pretty chilled. Obviously the lad who's had it before me, he's had this sort of dipped. Looks like it's been acid dipped or... I don't want to say sandblasted or shot blasted because I don't think it has. It feels a bit too smooth for that. It's as if it's been acid dipped. Do you know what? We're going to start from the top to the bottom. So, when you buy a Honda Ruckus, I'm pretty sure this is pretty much touching this. Like, I think they're tiny little scooters. I think they extend them when they do the type of build that this one is. Look at the miles per hour dial. These, this is my mileage, 16,957.8. Check that out. It does 50 mile an hour, because it's had a few tuning bits done to it. But it does have 60 on its little retro clock. Check that out. How cool is that? Then we've got these flat bars and chrome stem. Well, they're not that flat to be fair. Well, in fact, they are pretty flat. They've just got like a bit of a back sweep on them, which is quite cool. This is the lights, as you can see there. This is the indicators, left and right. There you go. This is the horn, which I'm going to show you. And then obviously on this side you've got your starter button. Um, I'm not going to start it inside the garage because who the hell would want to do that? Then we've got the levers, which are all cable brakes, look. So you've got cables, then you've got like this park and brake where you put it like on, put it in. Hold on, it's harder than it looks. 
there you go. So that's the parking brake on. But I probably wouldn't leave it on because I think it would stretch the cable a bit. But how cool is that? Then we're going to get off and we're going to move swiftly down. So it's being painted this custom tealish colour. It's like teal slash um, turquoise. That's one thing that people call it. Um, ignition. It's pretty cool. It's got a steering lock if you go all the way down. It's got ignition on and then shut. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm not going to mess with that. Anyhow, moving on swiftly to, it's a 50cc by the way. This is the, um, these are the indicators, so the left and the right indicators. This is mad, we stuck an owner sticker on it the other day at the car show. But, check that out, there's the lights. The, this is actually considered not that cool for a ruckus front light, but I think it's kind of cool because it's not that cool, do you know what I mean? But usually they have the two big headlamps. Um, if you're into your ruckuses, you'll know what I'm trying to say. Moving on swiftly to the forks. These are the lowers of the forks. It'd be nice if these were fully polished to go with everything else. Or a bit more black on it to go with the forks. But I've got some really big build ideas for the ruckus. I've got some inspiration coming in hot in the near future. But for now, it is what it is. Moving on swiftly, we've got the chrome front wheel. Look at that. It's quite wide as well for a front wheel. Dished out, deep dish. How cool is that? <laughs> But yeah, so that's the front end. Moving on swiftly, the person who had it before me has done like this mad curled exhaust. Look at that. What I was chatting the other day saying was, if you look like this, the seat flips up and you can see all the inside of the chassis and that. I'm pretty sure they extend them by putting this piece in the middle. I think normally they go like that and then just straight up to there. I could be wrong. Don't call, don't call me on it. But Basically, I've got ideas for this. I want to take the exhaust, bring it up through here, through here, and I want some big pipes sticking out the back here, just to mix it up. But I think it looks quite cool. I'm not even going to begin to pretend I know anything that's going on in this engine right now, because I don't have a clue what it is. It's a 50cc carburetor engine. Look at the fuel line. So cool. Fuel tanks underneath there, as you can see. Same colour as the rest of the bike. So cool. And then the rear wheel. Look at it with its owner sticking inside. It's so sick. It's literally so deep. Look how deep it is with a fully stretched rear tyre on it. The rear shock, as you can see, it's pretty sick. I've heard people put like mini air ride bags on these and then when you drop it, it's like on the actual floor. You wouldn't believe the scene for the Honda Ruckuses. In England, they're called Honda Zoomers, but this is an actual Japanese imported one called a Honda Ruckus, which is sick. We put an owner sticker, well, half an owner sticker on that pipe at the back there. And then the reg, little plate hanging off the side just to make it look really fat and cool. I'm telling you now, this thing is insane. But I just thought it'd be nice to come in and show you what the hell this thing actually is a bit more close up. So anyways, one of the things that I wanted this for was to go to Nando's. I do a lot of work on my laptop at the moment with owner. Probably half my day consists of just smashing the online stuff. I absolutely love it. Probably not half my day to be fair, probably like a quarter of my day is all my admin stuff and all that. And like, yeah, just smashing it. So I like to go over to like somewhere like a bit different than home just to mix it up and go to like Nando's or Starbucks or Starbucks or Costa or something like that. So I got this to basically go over there on just to mix my day up so rather than getting in the car and driving everywhere i can just jump in the ruckus and go for a quick session it's pretty sick so i'm hyped on it anyway so i think that's going to be you know a bit of an update I, I sort of i got this to enjoy day to day but i also got it to take to shows next year so i want to be able to take the ruckus and the 7r to car shows and people can have a little sit on the ruckus and see it in real life because they are just cool like ruck style and damn from kill all wipers they had ruckuses at fitted uk and i literally was losing my mind and i thought do you know what if i could have a sick ruckus on my stand for owner in owner colorway with like in owner colorways with like crazy features all over it and stuff i thought do you know what that'd be actually sick so that's where i'm at it's pretty sick it's a 2001 model which is 
20 years old, which is crazy. But yeah, sick. So, back to work. Anyways, I thought I'd come in, check in, say hello, make a bit of a cool video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you're enjoying it. And make sure this week you check out the podcast that I've done. It's going to be sick. I've got my second podcast coming out. After that, we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff for a normal style video. We're filming this weekend with Gaz for that video. Make sure you come and get involved. Say hello in the comments. Get involved underneath the video and smash the like button as well. It helps a lot. Thanks for tuning in to the YouTube video. Thanks for saying hello. Don't forget as well, you get a free t-shirt with every single hoodie, jacket or joggers on owner right now. And we've got bundle deals, girls products, and I'm pretty sure by the time you're watching this, the car stickers are online as well. So get involved, say hello. See you in the comments below. Smash the like button. Link for owners in the description. See you in the next video, which will be a podcast.